And even worse, to his word, I'm, I'm just gonna stop talking. No, it's okay. No, it's not. A... I'm so sorry about me. You lost her too. It's not the same. I lost a best friend, but you buried your wife. And if you ever need anything... Thank you. go in there if I were you. Why? Has, has something happened? Zach met with a specialist. The whole Kendall going to Canada thing didn't exactly go over very well. But Kendall needs a specialized treatment program, one that this hospital can't possibly provide. Well, I mean, if, if, if Zach will not sign the transfer papers, then I will. No, I'm, he's her husband. If he doesn't want her to go, then there's nothing we can do. We'll see about that. No, 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 no. no. Let's, okay. Let's just give him a chance to get used to the idea for a while. Fighting with Zach will just make him fight back harder, and that won't help him make the right decision. What's this? Oh, um, it's an engagement ring. Reese and I are getting married. Hey, how'd the checkup go? Oh, I think Mommy was more nervous than Gabrielle was. <laughs> well, speaking of moms, Mom, Reese Williams, Erica Kane. Oh, how do you oh, do that? No. <laughs> oh, how are you? It is so nice to finally meet you. I feel like I already know you. Oh. Bianca talks about you all of the time. Oh, well. Thank you very much. I, I'm very happy to meet you as well. No, and I understand congratulations are in order. You promised I you would know, wait so I we know. could tell her together. I'm sorry, the <laughs> ring sort of gave it oh. away. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? We saw it in a little shop in Milan, and Bianca just couldn't take her eyes off of it. Oh, well, with, with uh, good reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, this, this ring is just exquisite. Well, I was planning on giving it to Bianca in the delivery room, and then this one here came early, <laughs> and I had to rethink the entire proposal. And which was perfect. Almost. I never got to ask for your blessing. I love your daughter so much, and it would mean the world to me if we could have your blessing when we got married. <gasps> and so, uh... Would you mind if I made an honest woman out of her? <laughs> uh, of course not. I just, I, I do hope that you'll be very, very happy. <sighs> so, uh, now that we're almost one big happy family, should I, uh, should I just go ahead and call you mom? Uh, no. Uh, no. I'm sure that your own mother would have some issues with that. Okay. <laughs> then Erica it is. Dr. Farrington tells me that you've decided against moving Kendall to the hospital in Toronto. It's never an option, Joe. Never an option. The Bristol Institute is a world-renowned facility, Zach, with an exceptionally high rate of success in coma patients. Well, this is not about statistics. This is my wife. Living, loving woman who wants to be around her boys. I know how hard this must be. You don't know, Joe. How would you know? You don't know. I'm not going to give up on her. No one's asking to give up on Kendall. Yeah. If I send her off right now, that's exactly what I'd be doing. She's better off right here with me. Now I'm officially confused. Why, why the tears? I should think you'd be jumping for joy now that little Adam is sticking around town. They shouldn't have to stay out of guilt. He's, uh, J.R. is staying for the sake of his son. No, no, he's staying for me. <laughs> he was all set to go to San Diego, start a new life, you know, put all the pain behind him. No, he would have left if I hadn't have begged him not to go and take my grandbaby. So he didn't. So what? He knows how much that boy means to you. <sighs> That little boy's all I got left of my daughter. 
I just don't know what I would do if I lost him, too. Why? Well, you're not gonna. So why are you crying? Baby, it, it looks like things are starting to work out, you know, a little for the better. It's okay to try to be happy. I don't even know what that feels like anymore. I know you don't believe this, but it will get better. No. Dad. It won't. JR. Where's little Adam? Is he all right? Don't worry. Winifred took him to go get some pizza. I thought you had a plane to catch. I did. I have a change of plans, though. I decided to stay a little bit longer. Ah, uh, a few, a few days, a few weeks. I don't know. I haven't put a cap on my time limit yet. Ah, what inspired you to uh, this change of heart? What does it matter? Well, it, it, uh, it matters to me because I want to thank whoever did it. I see where it travels fast. So did David have the audacity to tell you himself, or did he let someone on the board break the news about his babe Hayward? Memorial Way. It's what? Hold the elevator. Oh. <laughs> Amanda Dillon. What a nice surprise. David. Um, what floor? You know, this is good. Um, what are you doing? It's been a while. I thought maybe we could catch up. Uh, maybe some other time. Just... Okay, look. I'm really not in the mood to be messed with, so start the elevator, prepare for a okay. full-on freakout. Right, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, okay? I was just hoping that maybe we could talk. About what? Well, I know that you were very close with Babe. And I thought it might be helpful to sit down with one of her friends. You know, hear some stories, share memories, try to get some kind of a window into my daughter's life. And heaven knows I missed out on most of it. I'm so sorry about me. Thank you. I'm just sorry that I, I didn't get a chance to know her better. So maybe you could help me with that. Babe was my best friend. And she was always there to listen, to laugh. <laughs> now that she's gone, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm it's all right. sorry. It's all right. I'm not it's all right. really usually a crier. It's just that it's all hitting me all at once. <laughs> Babe, Jake. Jake, what does he have to do with this? <sighs> we just broke up. <laughs> Shouldn't have wasted your time. A beautiful girl like you deserves better. No, I'm not a girl anymore. I can see that.